everybody. Welcome to Crate and Art. Let's see what I have in my crate we're going to make today. All right. We have Mod Podge Glossy. I have some uh, Apple Barrel White Flat Paint. I have some Melted Chocolate Paint. And I have some Coffee Bar Paint. Those are the colors. I also have a couple paint brushes here. I have a couple skewers, wooden skewers. I have an extra glue stick. I have a black marker. I'll tell you a little bit about these markers because they are fantastic. I have a pink marker. I have a couple dice from the Dollar Tree. They're kind of like a hard foam. They're not a soft foam. They're like kind of hard. A, a two pack of that. I have a little bucket or anything to hold um, your project in. You'll see when we get started. So you can change that out. These are the fantastic markers I've been telling you about. And that's where I got the black one and the pink one from. So if you want some great paint pens or markers, these are great. And they come in different um, thicknesses. So you could check those out. So I need a glue gun. And that's it. And let me show you what we're going to make today. We are going to make these little guys. I made these and everybody loves these. So I thought I would share how to make these. So today we're just going to make two of them. Actually, we'll probably just make one, but we might get to two. Anyway, let's get started. So let's, the first thing you need to do is take your uh, dice, take them out of the package and you're going to look at it a little bit and check out which side is like the worst side because that's where you're going to put the chocolate side on top. So look at it and think, okay, this is, this is the face. This is the side I want. So this would be his head. So you're going to take your skewer and push it into there like that. Then you're going to take another one. If you want, however many you want to make is what you would do. So let's say you want to make two. So then you would find this side and you'll notice that some sides are smaller and some sides are bigger. Um, when I first started making them, I didn't really pay attention. I just did random. So that's what I'm going to do is just choose whatever si side I want the face to be. Then I will put the stick in the top where the hair would go. The chocolate hair. You stick that in there. Simple, right? Then you're going to take your paint. This paint is the best paint. It's Apple Barrel White matte acrylic paint it's number 20403e white it dries really fast so what i like to do is just take my paintbrush and whoopsies just dip it in now this bucket is too small so let's get a taller bucket let's use this bucket right here this one so get something a little taller and this is one I already painted white for you all, but it's just basically painting, painting it white, trying to make it as smooth as you can because you don't want a bunch of lines across his face. Um, and just put this on liberally and keep going. And what I did was I took it over to my hair dryer and dried it real fast and it dries in like, oh, I don't know, a minute, maybe a minute. So you just keep putting this paint all on. Now remember that the, where the skewer went in, that's where you're doing the hair. I'd like to go ahead and just paint the whole thing just in case maybe you change your mind and want to make something else instead of this down the road. It's already all ready to go and painted. Now you could use wood blocks instead. I just love these little dice kind of have like a molded edge to them. And it makes it look like a real marshmallow. And when you paint it with this flat paint, it um, dries like a marshmallow. Because I think marshmallows are like really flat and matte finish on them. Whoopsies. Let's see. So just keep painting. Right? So you keep going until you get a full coat. And then I go over to my hair dryer, which you probably can't see me. But I go over here and I just dry it. Then I would do 
three coats of this till it ends up looking like this. If you want to do more, you can do more. It just depends on kind of your painting style if you um, paint real thick or thin. So after that, you can just take it off. And we'll set this aside. I need to plug my glue gun in. This is a really fast um, heat up glue gun here. Oh my God, I come across a couple of these like um, sample quartz things and I use them for my glue gun so it won't get all over my table. And then it's cool when it dries, you can just kind of pick, this, pick the um, old glue off there. So I'll set this over here because we don't need that white paintbrush anymore. My white paint lid. Put this back. We're going to need this. So we're going to do, we'll just choose one today. We're going to go with the coffee bean color, but you could choose any kind of brown color you like. Um, I should have probably had this open already, but here we go. Simple as that. We don't need this yet. We need to do the glue. So I'm going to sit down. Here is my little head. So see my glue's already starting. So um, when you're doing these, you could draw it out first so you know how much um, hair. But if you look at these guys right here, they're all different. All their hair is different and it's different all the way around them. So we'll just make maybe like his hair again. So if you want to use a picture for a reference, that's okay. So. I'm just gonna start putting the glue on. So you're just gonna go like this. If you put too much, it might run down too far. I've never really had to pick it back off, but if you did, I'm sure it'd probably be pretty easy to start over. You just would probably have to repaint it white again. So you just keep going. It's more kind of about the style of hair you like. Do you like it thick? Or you like it thin? Just depends. Whoa, a lot came out that time. That's okay, just kind of turn it this way a little bit. It'll cool down. This is a glue gun that works like fast. Melt your hand skin right off your fingers. So once you get the hair the way you like it, and I've got, got kind of a blobby there. I'm just going to kind of go like this with it, maybe. Yeah. And you're just going to fill in the top. I like to keep the point kind of down on top of it a little bit. Hope you all can see this good. Oopsies. That's kind of kind of got it down a little far right there. But I don't know, you might like it like that, but um you can use it in the back. Kind of have to play around with it a little bit. But this needs to cool completely before um we can paint it. It doesn't take too long, just depends on what kind of glue sticks you use and how hot your glue is. Um you can take your hair dryer to it, which I'm gonna do that to mine. Where's 
cooled it down a little bit. Yeah, he's still hot. So while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and paint his face. And you can just do just like this. You can do whatever you find on the internet, whatever you like. I'm going to do one. Um, I think I like this one. Which one is it? This one right here. I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to copy that. It's basically just two little circles. So you pick out which side you like for the front. These markers are the best markers. So you're just going to draw all little circles. I like it kind of down lower on the face, but you can put it up higher. You can put it close, your eyes closer together, whatever you think. But I kind of like it just like he is. I really should have my glasses on because I can't really see this too well. Simple, simple, simple. So you take your little pink one, draw a little tongue. Like that. He's so cute. I love these little guys. And then I can show you all the little hats we can make for these little marshmallow pups. Okay, he's still cooling, cooling down. We may have to come back in a minute and paint him. I still feel the heat. I'll take my hair dry too. Hold on. shot on my hair dryer so I'm not actually heating him up I'm just blowing air on him to get him to hurry up and dry but he's still a little tacky he's still a little warm right here these are okay we could go ahead and paint these so we're going to use this um, coffee bean color I did like a dark chocolate and a light chocolate or a milk chocolate um, but that's what I did with mine and I ran out of paint, so I had to get some new paint. So this color might be a little different, but this looks just like milk chocolate in here. So when you paint these, I've got a pair of glasses here. Um, you don't need to go all the way around the hair. I'll show you. It does take a couple coats. And this, once you get going, it's really, it's really not that uh, hard to do. I'll come over here and show you real close. See, you don't need to get way on the edges of it. You can leave it up a little bit. Coming in good. Can't get it to focus. There you go. So you don't need to get every edge. On these guys, I didn't do every edge. You can kind of see. So, finish. Basically, you're just going to paint two coats of this, whatever color you want. Paint it all. This is probably the, the 
hardest part. I don't know if they sell glue sticks that are already brown. That might be an option. Never looked that up. But I'm basically just going to paint it all. Doesn't go on, the first coat kind of goes on a uh, little transparent. And then, then it goes on, the second coat goes on much better. I'll probably speed this part of the tape up for you all so you don't have to watch me paint all this. it. cute that's first coat you gotta let that dry or you can take your hair dryer to it which I like to do is speed the process up I'll go ahead and let that dry Do another coat. See, this doesn't take too long. Your second coat goes a lot faster. You just put it on top. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think it makes it look more like chocolate. If it's kind of, I don't want to call it messy, but just a little bit um, indifferent in spots, I guess. Let's see.
I'm loving this folk art brand here. It's going on pretty thick. I might be able to get away with just two coats of this. I just love these little guys when you eat them. They kind of leave that little mess up in the back, but kind of got a little long. But um, wait till I show you the little hats. You're going to love them. You don't really call it a mess up. I just think it makes it look different than the others. You don't want them all to look the same. That's what makes them unique. pretty good I love him okay let's dry him off a little bit here Ready to go. So now, let's grab another paintbrush. Got one up here. Let's use this one. We got to put this gloss decoupage on top. He still looks a little wet. Let me dry him some more. But if you like it flat like this, you could just leave it like this too if you wanted. But you're going to put this on top. Not loving this paintbrush here. Use this one. I'm kind of hiding it here. You're just going to paint over top and make it look shiny. I will say that this stuff takes a while to dry. You know, you'll think it's not dry, but it, it takes a while. It'll be kind of cloudy for, for a day, almost a whole day, I think. Well, it probably depends on what your house temperature is and humidity and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I need to shut up and just do the crap. So you don't have to get all the way down to the to the white part. Nobody's gonna see that. Especially when they're hanging out in your tiered tray. I'm 
telling you, these are the cutest things. And people come over to your house and you're like, oh, that is so cute. I want one. They're just so fun. Wait till you see all the little hats I've made for these guys. Looks good. He looks cute. Let him dry. Okay, let me put this up and I can show you some of the little hats I made for him. Let's take my glasses off. What's that? I have some up here. I made this. This is from a Dollar Tree little kids glove and I just cut it up the sides and glued it. I can do a video on these little hats. Put it on him. Whoops. Let's do it like that. Isn't that the cutest little thing ever? Then I made this one. This wasn't was out of adult size 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 glove from the Dollar Tree and I used a little piece from another glove to make the little hearts inside its ears. And then I added a little pom-pom to the back. That goes on just like this. You could kind of put it on if you want more hair to show or put this, this one on one that shows more hair. And then I made this one. This was out of a little kid's glove, and then I just glued a piece of, um, what do you call this stuff? Boa. That's what it is. Boa. This one is out of a sock from the Dollar Tree. And I could teach you all how to make these. So simple. And I just glued a pom-pom to the top. He's so cute. And then this guy... I made this one out of a sock and then I made my own pom-pom out of some yarn. He's so cute. And these are my Easter and Valentine winter hats. But you should see my Christmas hats. Do you want to see my Christmas hats? Let me see. Right here. I have all kinds of Christmas hats for these guys. So let's take this off. And I'll show you. I made this hat and I put a little piece of like uh, jewelry elastic. I put it on here like this. It sits on top. You can see more of his hair in this type of a hat. I, I didn't make this one. I got this one at Walmart and it was a um, Christmas ornament that I took the, you know, the holder off of it and I put it and made it for a hat for him. Isn't he cute? And then this one is, let's see, let's do this one. Now this was one of those headband hats where you put the headband on. I cut it off and then um, glued a piece of boa around the bottom. So, and then I added a piece of uh, that jewelry elastic to it. So you could do it like this. These are my Christmas hats for my guys. Aren't they cute? I just love them. Let's see, this one. Let's see what else I got in here. I got this kind of hat. Um, and again, I so it was a, a headband from the Dollar Tree. And I uh, glued a piece of, cut it all off the headband and then glued a piece of elastic. There, there are so many, I made so many this year. And then this one cute little hat and he this was a headband too from the Dollar Tree oh, 
got a lay. He said, no, I don't want to put a hat on, Mommy. <laughs> okay, so then in this one, aren't they cute? I have so many. I have this kind, another one of those. I have this kind. And then this one is really cute. The, um, I took a pipe cleaner, which is like a green pipe cleaner in there. And then I had a piece of green, like, um, I don't know, just Christmas yarn. And I put a pom-pom on each side. So then you can do this. You can make him little earmuffs like this. He's got Christmas, he's got earmuffs on. Isn't that cute? And then I had, this was a piece left over, the striped part from one of the headbands. And I just slipped a pipe cleaner up in it and then glued some little pom-poms on it to make little earmuffs for my little guys. And they're so stinking cute on the um, tiered trays. There's another little one. This was actually from the Dollar Tree and there was two of them and they were bells, like a Christmas um decoration ornament so i took the bells apart and added a piece of elastic and added a little ball for the top a little bead a little silver bead Isn't that cute so okay this was my very first video and i know it's a little weird but that's just how it's happened and i'm not the best when it comes to talking i'm better when i teach you crafts so Come back and see me again. Thank you. Bye.